for me. I have a job. I'm the new black guy on Saturday Night Live. Clap. Thank you. Yes. My mama was so excited when I first told her. Oh, my God. Mama, I'm on Saturday Night Live. Well, she said something stupid, but she was still excited. You know what I mean? Mama, I'm on Saturday Night Live. I'm on Saturday Night Live. Oh, my baby. What night that come on? <laughs> so I just want to say to anybody out there who will listen, follow your dreams, OK? Seriously. Now, I know that sounds corny, but trust me, I'm looking, at an, I'm looking in the audience. I see a lot of beautiful, beautiful white women. I know a lot of y'all wanted to be ballerinas when y'all were little. Remember that? It's not too late. It's not too late. If I can be on Saturday Night Live, you can be a ballerina. So what if you're a little bit older, a little bit fatter? That's all right. That's all right. You'll be the first old fat ballerina in the game. And that's new. That's new. A lot of people would pay to see that. A lot of dudes would. <laughs> so ladies, a lot of stuff have, hasn't changed in ballet. So don't be intimidated when you go to your first rehearsal. And you know, you walk in and you see all the little 11 and 12 year olds, you know, 80 pound girls with one tutu on, and you have on two tutus tied together. <laughs> That's all right. You wear your faux faux with pride, and you get in line with everybody else. Don't be intimidated. Now, 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 do what you can do now. Don't stick your leg up on that bar, and don't stick your fat leg up on that bar, because something gonna break. <laughs> might be you, might be that bar. But either way, don't risk it. You tell them you don't need to stretch like that, you stretched at home. <laughs> no need to stretch again. <laughs> don't go all out in practice is what I'm trying to say. Conserve it, conserve it. I'm telling you, fellas, my life changed overnight. Nobody, that's why I don't care what anybody say. Nobody knows how they're gonna act when they had a favorite celebrity in their face. You don't know how you're gonna act. You know what I'm saying? Jennifer Aniston came on the show. I'm not even a Jennifer Aniston fan. You know, I'm reading her bio and I'm million dollars per episode. I'm like, ooh, she kind of cute. Maybe I need to pay attention. <laughs> but at the after party, you know, she comes up to me. Hey, Finesse, I had a great time. I want to introduce you to somebody. I forgot at the time she was married to Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt comes through the door, paparazzi going crazy. He's walking right towards me. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, my God, it's Brad Pitt. I mean, that's my favorite actor. And here he comes right up in my face, and you know, he gives me that manly pull my neck down, and he's talking all in my ear. Hey, Finesse, man, I just want to say you did great. I'm a big fan of yours. I'm going to be watching you, man, so you just keep it up. I'm excited for you, dude. And then he walks off, and I'm like, ooh. And Jim walks off. And I'm not going to lie to you, Montreal. For two seconds, I was gay. I'm straight now, though. I'm straight now, though. I'm straight now, though. I'm just saying for two, I mean, what I'm supposed to do? He all up in my ear, and I felt the little tongue. And you can be a big star, and I'm going to be watching you. And I'm sitting up there going, <laughs> thank you, Brad. <laughs> I'm going to go see Troy. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's only been one other person that has made me feel a little fairyish, you know, one other dude in life. I was blessed last year to go to a Prince concert. Oh my God. Now, I don't know how many Prince fans we have in Montreal. Okay, okay, just checking. Because y'all look like more of a bare naked ladies type of crowd up here. But uh, <laughs> I want to say something. White people, y'all are crazy at concerts. And I tried my best to just like act like y'all act and do what y'all do. But I'm trying to stay on beat. So some of that stuff y'all be doing, you know that? And it's contagious, too, because after about five minutes, I'm up there doing all this. The black people looking down at me like, what you doing? I'm like, it's contagious in the good seats. It's contagious down here. Stay up there. Mind your business. But then it was like, the longer we waited, the gayer I got. And I didn't even know I had feelings for Prince like that. The people ch chanting, and I'm trying to sound as manly as I can. But after a while, man, I'm just like, Prince, 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 Prince. Then I got mad. I got mad. I'm like, Prince, where you at? 
You late? I'm tired. You got to be in shape to be gay. Whew. <laughs> but then the lights went down and the thunder came up, you know, and he, Prince came through the center of the floor through the smoke and he did that Prince walk to the microphone because Prince had that walk. Prince did that. And I'm sitting up there all excited, holding hands with white people I don't know, because everybody excited. You're like, what's the first song? And I must have worked myself up so high, because I'm like, what's the first song? What's the first song? He's just like. And then it gets real quiet. You can, you can hear a pin drop. And all of a sudden, he says, <clears throat> dearly beloved. I said, ah! I was out. But then that's when I got mad at the white people because when I woke up at the end of the concert, <laughs> I had footprints all on my shirt. Nobody had helped me up, y'all. was selfish. <laughs> so that's why I say, you know, you just chill on. I understand. You meet your favorite celebrity, you don't know how you're going to act. People think I'm a celebrity sometimes, and that's a lot of pressure on me because, you know, after the show, girls will come up to me. But that's oh my God, sign it, sign it. Y'all love you on Saturday Night Live. You are so funny, but you are also so fine and so sexy. I want to know if you want to come back to my house and do whatever you want to do to me. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Montreal. I'd be flattered that they think I'm funny. But I'd be kind of offended that they think I'm some little two-bit entertainment hoe that's going to go home with anybody after the show like I don't have respect for myself. <laughs> so on the way to their house, I tell them, I normally don't do this. <laughs> just something about your eyes. I don't know. You got a little Brad Pitt thing going on in your eyes. Uh, yo, my name's Vanessa Mitchell. Thank y'all very much. Thank you, Montreal.